I don't want to struggle with a okay. man. If I add a man to my life, I should not struggle financially. He should be taking care of that burden so that okay. I can relax in my feminine energy. I want to be able to. Um. You don't know what you're doing. doing, 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 doing. I'm going to get to the content because Alex just blessed us the way that he did. I want to say this to you. The reason that the brothers are given our lovely ladies no play is black women in America have become a monolith. They literally are all viewed as the same. It's not fair. We talked about this at the conclave. Life is not fair. But to see easily 20 plus apparently single some really good looking some good looking women attractive women it's houston y'all the home of beyonce get no play ladies if you see this i want you to understand this is what you are viewed as now i apologize in advance for this let's go ladies you have to train the man from the beginning to pay for stuff for you don't think it's cute being 50 50 in the beginning because you think he's going to be grateful enough and show gratitude towards you later and pay for the whole thing he's not gonna okay he's not gonna a guy i met last night asked me why i think i need six figure men to be happy okay i think you're missing the point the point is i don't want to struggle with a okay. man if i add a man to my life i should not struggle financially he should be taking care of that burden so that okay. I can relax in my feminine energy. I want to be able to. Um, is she in the nude? Look at that face. I'm sorry. I paused your face like that. Let me put it up here so everybody can see it, though. Hang on one second. Because I know you all like that. There you go. You like that? Yeah. Yep. All right not have to worry about scraping by when i have a man you know i can do battle by myself like even as a single woman right now i pamper myself i go to the chiropractor once a week Good. i go take a massage i get my nails done my hair done all of those things would be his responsibility if i'm with him that's his responsibility so why would i add him for me to still be paying for everything that I pay for now. What's the point? There is none. Go get a job, you bum. Go get a job, you bum. Well, it sounds like 50 of us got jobs. Actually, 130 of us got certifications and 50 of us got jobs. To the point that they reached the initial benchmark that Theo is tracking of $100,000 a year. Bum, mm, not sure if that really applies. But ladies, here's what needs to frighten you more than anything else. This is a very unique time in the history of black men. And you know, I love fellas. I root for all of us, black, white, indifferent. But this specifically applies to black men. This is the first time in America that we have been able to have this level of information share and this level of influence of having a voice or a platform. It has never happened before in the US. That 10%, that tipping point, that we're talking about that Kevin Samuels used to talk about it's over it's over we're past the tipping point to see the difference between the men and how they acted in Atlanta no judgment but the guys were trying to talk to girls at the bar and stuff like that I remember it I remember it and seeing the ladies be completely ignored it's because of that these guys all have their head down. They're all pursuing greatness and wealth. And you know what? Poverty is loud. 
all right uh rich is seen and wealth is silent and these guys are moving in silence on your behind that's what we hear that's what we see and what what bothers me about a lot of platforms i believe if you have influence you have a responsibility to have integrity like this is why people that get caught up like and all these scandals and stuff and i've i've admitted i might get caught in a scandal el guapo is not perfect but i'm going to tell you right now leading people astray is not the right thing to do so when i watch like the Derek jacksons i don't want to say anything negative about a black man i really don't but dude you're leading these women astray and shorty doo-wop that you guys have been roasting in the chat has been doing it for a while look at this yo look at this madness right here i know she's your favorite take a look if he wanted to he would hear me out i went on a date with a guy last week and it was a good date we had a fun time together he's a big time lawyer he owns three to four cars he's doing really well in life mm -hmm. you guys know i'm a model i'm new to the city transplant don't even have a why the f you lying why? why you always lying why? now she went on a date with a lawyer with three to four cars highly successful she's new to the city doesn't even have a car yet and she's a model Let's get it. Car yet, like still building up my life out here. Regardless, I expect my date to either pick me up mm -hmm. or Uber me to the date. That is just my standard. The first date, he was a perfect gentleman. He picked me up and everything. He calls me today for a second date. He wants to go golfing. I said, great. What time are you picking me up? He's like, well, he wants to take her golfing. Drop me a nine if you believe that he wants to take her golfing. Drop me a 10 if you think that that is all cap. I mean, cap. Do you want to take her to Top Golf? They had a Top Golf simulator at the Four Seasons, man. And they worked me so hard, I didn't even get to go. I brought my golf, well, I borrowed uh, a golf glove from Derek because I kept telling him to bring his golf glove. And now I forgot mine. Are you going to top golf with her? Or are you going to top golf like this? All right, let's go. Well, it's out of the way to pick you up. I just recommend you Uber to me and then we can go on our date. And then I wasn't sure if he meant me Uber myself or him Uber me. So. I hung up and I texted him. I was like, hey, I'm excited for Saturday, but just to clarify, he calls me up and he's like, can you clarify your text message? And I said, I was wondering what you meant by the Uber. Were you going to call me an Uber or did you want me to call an Uber for myself? And he said, I recommend you call an Uber for yourself. And I said, oh, well, um, you know, since this is a date, I prefer you to Uber me or you can pick me up. And he's like, oh well i think you could just do it yourself and my thing is yes i can do it myself but you're asking me on a date i expect to be taken care of pick me up or call me an uber the notion that it's too far or too out of the way for the date it's an inconvenience for me because now i have to pay for part of this date i have a problem with that and when i think about it you guys like some women my sister for example she won't even pay for an ice cream at the end of the date. And <sighs> I'm trying not to say anything, y'all. I'm trying to let it rock, but it's so hard, yo. It, 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 it. Oh my God, stop lying. <sighs> Team, give me 45 seconds. I need a break. This is, this is crazy.
flight time today will be, it doesn't matter because fit, feminine, and friendly women await you, along with more bang for your buck and a better culture. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride, because Passport Bros, we out. Even if she's lying, even if she's trolling, do you think that this has an effect on the women of her community? Do you think that some of them are naive enough to actually try this? And when they try this, how is your experience as a black man, as a man in, in general? Let's keep going. She's been dating her guy for a couple years now, but even the first few months of their dating, mm -hmm. she refused to pay for anything. She didn't pay for anything. He was like, can't you just pay for an ice cream after right, dinner? Right, right. And she's like, no. And guess what? She moves in with this man. They've been together for three years, about to get married. He picked that girl. He didn't pick the girl that was like trying to be nice and pay for her own Uber and pay for her own meal. No, he picked the girl that refused to pay for refused to pay for anything for him. And he is in love. He's about to put a ring on it. He picked. Oh, God. Are you serious, yo? Oh, my God. Stop lying. He picked a girl that doesn't pay for ish and he's about to put a ring on it. You're dating or went on a date with a lawyer that has several cars. You're new to the city and you're a model. Dude, there's a video of her looking at uh, like one of those big billboards in uh, Times Square of Mike Tyson. And she was like, oh, my gosh, me and Mike Tyson have something in, in common. I had a billboard in that same place. <laughs> the lies, yo. You can't win. And they wonder, like, I hate to say this. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny, y'all. I'm not trying to be funny. Seriously. Let me hold up. Military bearing. Watch this. This shit really bothers me. Because I have met and dealt with some really dope black women before, like really freaking awesome. And as smart as y'all are, why do you let her speak for you? Why? And you wonder, you wonder why guys are going to other races when this is who you allow to have a mic and you're not fervently refuting what she says. And so not only are you letting her represent you, but you're also allowing her to influence other women of your demographic. And it's all and that's why I say you're a monolith. And that's why in Houston, Texas, on this, what did they, what did they say on Beyonce's good internet? I was in Beyonce's good town. None of the sister girls were getting any play. None, yo. And I'm not talking about just from the guys from the conclave. I'm talking about from any guys. Any guy show. I better not find out your was swimming in the milk. Well, actually. You wonder why. This right here is why. Pays all the bills. They live together. He pays for everything. And yet, when they first started dating, he tried to he tried to play her. He was like, "Oh, can you just pay for this?" Pay no, I'm not paying for anything. Take it or leave it. You're a model. Look at your shirt, yo. Is that dandruff? Why is all that lint on your shirt? I wore a black shirt on Saturday to the uh, conclave to do my talk. I literally. Um, went to the front desk and asked them, do you have a lint roller? And I was prepared to pay them to like Uber a lint roller there because I didn't bring one. 
housekeeping brought one up i used it there's no way you go out in public with a black shirt on with all of those white specks it makes you look dirty but you're a model right you're a model okay he took it so if he wanted two ladies he would okay keep your standards high that's all i gotta say if he wanted two ladies he would keep your standards high well ladies the tables have turned now darkness the tables have turned <laughs> <laughs>